Yo, it's your man Legend. Texas Heat. I'm chilling with my man Simeon. Simeon. Right what here. Up? Right here at the uh, slip in. We got the Simeon group therapy listening party. How you doing, my man Simeon? You good? I'm good. You know how it is. Yeah, good, good. So, I mean, let's just get into it, man. What, 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 what's the group therapy thing about, man? You know, I'm just seeing this everywhere. I saw Kevin Nottingham and. No, I'm just I'm just getting a good vibe from it. So I mean, to let people know what it's about and what kind of, what, what we're trying to do and what, what kind of message we're trying to get for us. So group therapy is basically it's about unity. You know what I'm saying? I'm just you know just kind of pulling people together. You know, not only my community here in Dallas, you know, DFW, uh, Actown, Fort Worth, Dallas, Louisville. Forney, you know, whatever, <laughs> just, you know, <laughs> Carrollton, like, all of all the, all the people I know here, but also, I mean, just pulling together my network of, of you know, people I know, you know, nationwide, you know, Cali, Philly, you know, Detroit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, Chicago, yeah, Florida, yeah. Miami, like, all those different areas where I, I have homies that, you know, do music, do, you know, whether it's producing, or, or maybe it's, you know, MCing or DJing, I mean, I, I have a... I mean, it's just like I got I got family everywhere, so exactly. it's like this was an opportunity to put them all down, one record, you know, not just you know, and, and, and to grow, like trying to try to you know, what's the word for it? Like kind of break the boundaries of, mm -hmm. of what would be normal for you know, like a, a kind of a guest collaboration type of album, you know, like even in the way I put it together, it's like um, you know, I didn't want it. I didn't want it to feel like a guest album, but I wanted people to be like, dang, there's a whole lot of people on this record. You know what I'm saying? So, like, even where I place my verses and, 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 and having my voice prevalent on all the hooks, you know, just to kind of give it a solo feel, even though there's like 40 people on the record. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that last joint got like 20, yeah, 20, 20 people MCs on it. Though. I'm like, dang. But I mean, and if I could have got everybody on it, Spoke, you spoke about your uh, your your network of people that you have, and I mean, there, there's a lot of big names in that network. I know, and then a lot of names that people don't know about that, that, that people have done a lot of things. So I mean, I mean, what's allowed you to build that that, that network and just kept you going these games? I know you've been there for a while. You know, the only thing I can think of is aside from you know the grace of God, just mm -hmm. always having His hand on everything I do. Uh -huh. um, just. You know, perseverance and longevity, you know, patience, patience with it, you know. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a long time since, like, I don't know, my freshman year of college, which was 90 <laughs> something. <laughs> but, you know, but, you know, it's, you, know you, you, you go through this journey, doing music, doing music you like, meet people, connecting, and then it's like, after a while, you know, you look back and you're like, man, I know a lot of people, and a lot of people know me. You know, let's let's do something. You know, like, let's do something on a big level, and uh, and you know, try to put this town on the map. I know there's a lot of talent in this in this particular city, Dallas. You know, and when I say Dallas, I mean BFW and everything surrounding Dallas. Um, but not everybody knows it, and I don't think people really think of Dallas as being like a mecca for hip hop. But you know, and there's a lot of reasons for that. I ain't gonna get into all that, but you know, but for the most part. There's a lot of talent here that hasn't been discovered, and and it's doing big things that people just don't know about. Exactly. So, you know, by putting everybody on this record, especially on that dub season joint that has this, you know 20, 30 MCs on it, it's like all these people that are doing stuff in different circles can finally be like, oh, that's that dude. Exactly. exactly. I've heard of him, and um, then oh, that's what he sounds. That's what I heard. You know, and then just then the creates community. That's exactly. all I'm trying to do. And, and the funny thing is, is I didn't know, you know, how many, what the turnout was going to look like for this night, you know. But, you know, based on the turnout, apparently there's a little bit of unity happening. So, exactly. you know, so I'm excited about that. So. Okay. Well, man, tell me this. I know that uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in like hip-hop music because, I mean, it just changes on, you know, like a daily basis, you know, with the blogs and the social right, media right. and things like that. I mean, do you ever feel pressure like to make a certain type of music or do you just... 
stay in and sit me on this lane and just say, yo, this is the type of music I do. I'm going to go within myself, but I'm really not going outside of uh, who I am as an artist. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just a lot of like fly by night type music out here nowadays. Not a lot of substance. I know your music has a lot of substance. Well, I mean, that's definitely that's, that's the age old question. You know, like, do you, do you do what you want to do or what you feel like is you're called to do? Uh, at the expense of the success that people are getting doing other stuff. You know, for me, I, I had to kind of weigh that balance. And, you know, when it was all said and done, I was like, you know, I'm going to stick with what I know. And what I know I'm called to do, the music I love. Because a lot of people, I've had a lot of people tell me, you know, well, do what you need to do to get large. And then once you blow up and you get rich, you can do whatever you want. And I'm like, you name somebody that went back to their roots after they blew up. Right. Off the top of my head, I can't think of one single person. Maybe, maybe like Nas or Common. That, those would be the closest things That's to it, yeah. potentially having done that. Um, but for the most part, you know, once you get up there and you're in the industry and the, you know the machine takes over, you're no longer in control of your schedule. You know, you're in demand, so you got to be what you got to be because people want you there and, and you kind of lose control of yourself a little bit so I mean not that I wouldn't love being a millionaire let's get it straight <laughs> I love that and maybe one day that'll be happy, you know, possible but in the meantime I'm going to do what I know I love I'm going to do the music I wish other people would do me so I can listen because I'm, I'm sharing music that I wish more people would do albums like my stuff you know not saying that other people's stuff is wrong but that's kind of stuff I do is the kind of stuff I like. So it's like exactly. I would just, I'm just doing what people that like stuff I do would hope to hear. <laughs> and, then like that. You know what I'm and then at the same time, you know, each time I do a record, I want to grow. So I mean, it's kind of I want to give you what what you're used to seeing from Sivion, but at the same time, have some surprises for you. Like, oh, I didn't realize he's not taking that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's like like it feels good because it's in its lane of what we would. What I like the city on, like the vibe I get from it, but it's like that's different. You know, I like it, so and I feel like I accomplished that. Well, man, I, I know uh, that you said earlier about something about people not getting that Dallas and Atlanta for like hip hop, and, you know, and, and just diverse talent. I mean, and, and I, I've been around here for a long time, Sidney, and I've had this discussion with them. We've been around here a long time. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've had this discussion with about a million people. I mean. What, 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 what do you think is the issue? Because I know we go on and on for days about this, because I've done it with people, you know. But, I mean, what do you, what do you think it is? Because, I mean, it's just like a wide open platform nowadays, you know what I mean? And it's like talent's coming from, like, old hole-in-the-wall type places, you know what I mean? So, and, I mean, Dallas is, like, one of the top ten cities in, in, in the nation, you know what I mean? It's an international city. Right. So it's just like... People don't see it as a New York or L.A., but, I mean, it, it really, in a sense, it is. You know what I mean? I think part of the problem with Dallas, and, and, and I feel like Dallas is trying to make some moves to fix this, but I feel like the problem is is that Dallas is not really known for having a lot of culture. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. from, a, from an arts and entertainment standpoint, exactly. like, you go to L.A., even just walking down the street, there's culture. You, I mean, you just see it all, all I mean, yeah. you walk down the street, you're social. like, you're going to get exposed to some social culture, some, you know, different ethnicities, whatever, just people expressing their cultures musically in every other way. But Dallas is not a place, you know, New York's like that too. You go, you can go anywhere in New York and people, places have cultural identity. Dallas is like a melting pot of everything. You know, you can't really go to Dallas and be like, well, that's a Dallas thing, other than like Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? But that's not culture, that's football. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, it, you know, not everybody likes football. So it's like, when you get into music culture, it's like Dallas doesn't really have an identity for that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the problem. I think I think we're making strides towards developing a culture, but it's going to take people just really sticking true to their guns and not trying to copycat other people. Because we, that's the problem. Is we don't have our own culture because people haven't put their foot down and say this is our culture you know and so I think the more people do that we'll, we'll develop an identity right now that's the challenge but, but, well I mean so what's next for Simeon I mean you've got you know you got the album coming and um, you know it's getting a lot of a lot of good reviews and good 
it's kind of hard to think about it. I mean, what's next as far as like moves with this album or new projects, side projects, whatever. Well, really, I was thinking about musical theater. That's crazy. That's the most crazy thing I've ever heard. No, I mean, I, I feel like, you know, the sky's the limit. You know, God's working with this record. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know where it's going to go. All I know is, like, the response on social media and things of that nature have been bigger than any of my previous releases. So I'm humbled by that. I don't even know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I. I'm just I'm just gonna play it by ear, one project at a time. I don't really have anything lined up right now because I'm trying to move this thing, maybe get some touring going, you know, doing some weekend runs more often. But, uh, you know, you know, just trying to trying to get after it a little bit harder than the previous records. Okay. Hopefully, get more people exposed. I mean, I've I've been threatening to go to Japan like for weeks, months, years, decades. <laughs> I got fans in Japan, and they're like, when are you coming? So I, I'm trying to figure that out. Man, that was out of review. That would be huge. That would be huge. Sibion in Definitely Japan. Definitely huge. I, I see it now, guys. Definitely huge. Cats in Japan love hip-hop. They love it, man. It's a whole other world out there, dude. It's like going back into the 90s. Yeah. Is there my dude uh, from Time Machine? Uh, they toured Japan. They did five shows in Japan, five shows in Australia. He said it was just like going back in a time capsule. You know what I mean? But I mean, and Europe, Australia, I want to do that one day. Yeah, we, you, you, you got to. I want to do that too. You know what I mean? Let's do it together. Right here on Texas Heat Tour, Legend Simeon. Tour is already scheduled. Hey, hey, correct, correct, correction, correction. correction. (laughs) Tour, Simeon, Legend. It's going down. Dates are already up. They're working on that as we speak. We just made that up, and here it comes. We just need somebody to cut the check. That's it. (laughs) Wait, wait. We just booked Tokyo. Oh. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> hey, well, man, tell me this, Savion. I mean, there's a lot of cats out here grinding. It's like everybody want to rap. I mean, what do you think are the three main things that you have to do? I know you've been around for a long time. I know you've done successful things. I know you've done things that have failed. I mean, it's a trial and error game, you know? So, I mean, what do you think is the top three things? artists have to do and just saying hey man I want to start trying to take this stuff seriously get out here and record a project and really get out here and find it out what do you think you got to do to get started you know what I mean number one find you whenever that you is find you um, <laughs> and don't don't be nobody else it's creativity find you number two be passionate about you Whatever that you is, whatever that is that makes you creative and different from other people, I mean, check with God on that because God's creative and he made you different. So figure out what that is and use that. That's that's your niche right there. Um, and then the third thing for me is like draw a line. There's, 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 create a, draw a line of, of where you're willing to go, you know, because if success gets so big that you're you've crossed that line to where you're into no man's land and doing stuff that you never thought you would ever do in your life, you've gone too far. Draw that line and, and hold it, hold it, walk the baseline. Man, it's walk like the baseline. That's the track from the album. And, yes. and I, I heard the album, I think it's absolutely wonderful. A lot of features, a lot of big names, a lot of just raw Sivion lyricism. That's the best part about it. So I mean Man, Sivion Group Therapy. Make sure you go and cop that. That's that's killing the streets right now. In Just stores everywhere. Everywhere. Amazon. Spotify. Woo! iTunes. Woo! And I found out we're in iTunes in Korea. That's iTunes cool in Korea. So Korea, in Korea iTunes. pick it up. Uh, we're on Juno.com, UK. What up? England. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> I mean, Sivion's a grinder. Man, just give a shout out to anybody you want to give a shout out to. You know what I'm saying? Give a shout out to Texas Heat, of course, this is far. And, and, and just uh, say whatever you want to end. Well, shout out to this fool right here. <laughs> Legend. Me and him go way back. Like, yes. cornbread and muffin. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> this dude been around for a minute. So, you know, if he got stuff out, check it. Because dude can rap. First off. Texas Heat blog. 
thanks for having me. Y'all are making moves. And, you know, honored to be here because I'm trying to make moves, y'all trying to make moves. Let's link up, do a tour. I mean, big things have happened already because we got a tour plan. Already. <laughs> we're, we're leaving tonight. <laughs> and then, you know, y'all y'all check me out. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Well, Facebook. Where, where, where can they check you out on Twitter and Instagram? What's the address? Okay, so Twitter, my handle is at Sibion DS5. And then, let me see, Facebook is, you know, all that, Facebook.com, <laughs> Sibion. And then, on Instagram, my handle is the same as it is on Twitter, at Sibion DS5. The number five. Texas Heat, Sibion, group therapy. Make sure you go and pick it up. Slip in, group therapy listening party. A huge success. Sibion is the man. Boom, that just happened. Let's do it.